Hey guys, this is Martin Wright from Argos Dog Training. I am extremely excited because I have young Jamie with me and I'm in the midst of shooting a three-part video on puppy handling. <laughs> So this is a three vi <laughs> so, so this is a three video series and if you haven't seen the first one please check out the link up here maybe it's over there I don't know Okay so the reason why we use three different puppies for this uh project is because each puppy has its own temperament personality and energy level So our hope is that one of these puppies will match the energy level, the temperament, and the personality of the puppy you have at home, so that way you'll be able to use these videos to troubleshoot the issues that you might have. So this is young Jamie. Um, he's a 12-week-old golden retriever. As you can see here, Jamie's a lot more high energy than that puppy Brixton from episode one. So because of that, we're gonna do everything different. The way that he chases a tree is gonna be different. The way that he stays in the crate is gonna be different. As a matter of fact, everything that we teach him will be much different than it is with Brixton. If you have a super cute golden retriever, and if you crate trained, taught your puppy how to stay in the crate, please tell us your story below. We are always listening for new stories and new ideas. Okay guys, so. We're here again, we're playing chase the treat. I'm gonna hold the treat and wave it around in front of his nose. And he's already chasing. He's actually pretty good at chase the treat. Um, like, a, like most golden retrievers will be. Um, they like food a lot. They seem to like it even more than a terrier does, although terriers like food a lot too. So here we go, just chasing that. And I'm gonna have him run a little bit. Boop. Here it is, here it is. Excellent. Now I'll take another one here, and that goes that way. Yay! Good job. Another one here, and that goes that way. Oh, there it is. There it is. Excellent. He's getting really excited here. And then I grab another one. There's certain treats that he likes to chase more than others. That goes that way. Excellent. They make a no nice clicking noise on the ground. Jamie! Ready? That goes that way. And now finally, I grab one of these treats and that goes that way. Oh, look at him, he's in there. So here comes another one. And here comes another one. And just like before, um, he has to stay in there till I say, okay, Jamie. And then he could come out. I wanna show that right away when I'm teaching the dog, right? I wanna show them the signal for you can come out of the crate very quickly, long before I have to tell them stay in there, right? So you can see he's interested in going back in. He's not all the way in, so I have my treat and I toss it that way. I have my treat and I toss it that way. So it's mainly about chasing the treat. It's more about chasing the treat than anything else, right? But that's the point. The point is to have fun and to play with the dog. But the goal is to get the dog in the crate. So I go here and then I toss my treat that way. And then I toss one over there. He's in. Excellent, I toss one there. Now he starts to come out. Nope, he's staying there. Good, good boy. Yeah, he's staying there. Good, and here's another treat. And here's a treat over there. Oh, he's staying there, he's staying there. Good job. And I'm really not pushing him in. He's, uh, he's a little bit dramatic, so he jumps back, you know, when my hand touches him on the chest. And that's okay, excellent. You stay in there, good. Here's a treat, boom. Oh, he didn't see that one go. Oh, you stay in there. So sometimes they will get out. And when they do, just like with Brixton, I go up, you stay in there, good job. Excellent. And once again, the goal is to teach him to be calm in there and wait for me to go, okay. Which means you could come out. Good boy, very good. When I say okay, he gets petted. And then we play chase the treat. I toss it over there. Excellent. So as we're playing this game and we're getting him to move here, we're getting him maybe, maybe we're getting him to do this. Excellent. And then from there, getting him to come over here. Spin around like that. Oh, he dropped one. Excellent. He's coming back, spins around like that. And maybe he does that again. Excellent. Maybe he does this. This is all chasing the treat. 
right? His head is engaged. His nose is following my hand. I'm spinning him. Excellent. And then eventually, one of these times we get to the goal. The goal is to get him introduced to the crate and to start his crate training. So there he goes. He gets in. Here's another one. Oh, he comes out. I didn't say you stay in there because I didn't tell him to really go in there yet. There. He gets in again. He gets some more treats. So the idea here is that you're in the crate, you're getting treats. You're in the crate, you're getting treats. That's the whole idea, right? Okay. Okay means you're released. You're released. It doesn't have to be a crate. You could be released from whatever, command, anything. Good boy. He goes in on his own. If I see that, here comes treats. I want to really make it impress upon him that being in the crate is a wonderful thing. Right? Being in the crate, being away from me over there, it's a wonderful thing, to, a wonderful place to be, wonderful thing to do. Now, if he tries to come out here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell him you stay in there. I need him to try to come out. So sometimes I'll wait a long time without giving him a treat so he can try to come out of the crate. So I can say, no, you stay in there. So that way he really understands it. Nope, you stay in there. Good. Oh, you stay in there. Oh, you stay in there, stay in there. Yes, good boy. And here comes treats. Now it's time when he could come out. Okay. There's one more treat in there. Maybe his nose has, has smelt it. If he doesn't come right out, I'll reach in. Okay. He really wants to stay in there a little bit. All right, guys, we're at the end of the second video featuring Jamie. You can see Jamie's a lot more high energy than Brixton was. And because of that, he wants to come out of the crate a lot more. He wants to move around a lot more. In our next video, we're going to show Esco. And Esco is lower energy than both Jamie and Brixton. So his challenges will be much different. Definitely stay tuned to see that one. Episode 3 featuring Esco will be linked here. If you want to see the whole series, I'll link the playlist there. If you really like what you saw in this video today, give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. If you check in the description below, you'll see more information about Argo's dog training, links to our website and to our social media. If you'd like to learn more about our Argo's puppy kindergarten, then definitely check out that website. We do have information there. Until the next time, enjoy your day and enjoy your dog. And during all of these things, we're restraining the puppy. And restraint can cause a puppy to be very excited. And it can be hard to handle.